Hey everyone, welcome to Rewards Canada's This Week in Rewards for May 11th through to the 17th, 2024. This is your weekly dose of loyalty rewards, travel, and credit card happenings in Canada. I hope you've all had a great week. And before we start the video, as always, if you like today's content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, share the video with friends, and leave a comment below with any questions you have on today's topics or anything else to do with loyalty, travel, and credit cards in Canada. As always, we'll get the ball rolling with credit card news, and there actually wasn't very much credit card news this week. Uh, you know, with the May long weekend right at, right around the corner here, uh, a lot of the programs tend to keep it a little quieter right about now. So really, the only news this week was the launch, or I guess I should say the beta test launch of the new Wealth Simple Visa Infinite card. Uh, so this is Wealth Simple going to be releasing an actual credit card because up until this point they've only had their prepaid card. So unlike the Wealth Simple Cash card, like I said, this is an actual credit card. It's uh, going to have Visa Infinite branding. Uh, like I said it's being it's beta tested, so it's just, right now it's just being offered to select Wealth Simple clients. It didn't show up in my Wealth Simple account? Uh, perhaps it's shown up in yours. Uh, so and what they're saying is that this is going to be a trial period So what I'm going to tell you about the card right now may not actually be part of the final product And they specifically say that on their app for the people who've posted uh, You know screenshots of this on reddit red flag deals the different places who have been offered this card uh, So basically they're gonna trial it and I think they might even ask people you know for a little bit of feedback And then we'll see a final product uh, Launch probably later this year. So some of the basics of this beta version of the card include up to 2% cash back on all purchases. Well, it is it is 2% back on all purchases, up to $3,000 spend per month or per uh, statement period. After that $3,000, it goes down to 1% and that's cash back. Uh, it's gonna have a $10 monthly fee, but if you're a premium or a generation client with Wealth Simple, so if you have enough uh, investments, cash accounts, you name it, all combined to get to those different levels within Wealth Simple, the monthly fee will be waived. Uh, the cash back will straight, go straight into your cash account. Uh, but what's different here from the cash, the well simple like prepaid cash card to this Visa Infinite, this one actually charges a 2.5% foreign transaction fee. So it's quite different. So, so what we know right off the bat is that it's a straight 2% cash back card, which is really good. Um, however, it's capped at $3,000 per statement period, which I mean, it's, it's not, that's a decent cap. It's not, I mean, it's not the lowest out there. It's not the highest, um, but it's monthly. It, it would have been nice if they went annual, uh, kind of like MBNA does with their cards in Scotia, but I get it. I mean, the, the recent trend with credit card issuers is trying to minimize the amount of rewards they give out. And by doing monthly caps, it makes it easier than uh, yearly cap so somebody can't go out and do one big ten thousand dollar spend and earn two two percent back on it they only earn two percent on three thousand and then the other seven thousand they only earn one percent so I get why the credit card issuers do it it's not as good for the consumer but that's kind of the recent trend we've seen from the issuers I mean so you're gonna go out if you go put a big deposit on a car buy a whole bunch of appliances do rentals those type of things um, yeah just just be aware that if you if you are getting this card you're only gonna get two percent on the first three thousand I mean uh, appliances these days if you're going to change out your whole uh, you know appliance package in your kitchen it's going to be well well over three thousand dollars so i mean this is something to consider and it may be you know probably other cards would do better for that but we'll see i mean this isn't the final product of course this is just beta testing right now um you know wealth simple is not the first to do the monthly caps i mean amex has it on the cobalt card granted amex is limited on the five times eats and drinks it's not on all spending you know we have national bank of uh, canada with their world elite card it's got it's kind of convoluted 2500 but it's overall monthly on like across the whole card and then it affects your five points earning just you know confusing uh, you've seen it in my my videos from quite a while ago when when national bank changed their cards so i mean you know so those type of things uh so this is not new to have this monthly cap three thousand is is okay i mean it'd be nice to have a higher or annual cap on it uh, but at least it's not really low like the bank of montreal cashback really mastercard you know those that guy's got really low monthly caps on its earn rates so uh and yeah and that's really that was it for credit cards for for this week uh so let's jump right into travel and loyalty where there's actually quite a bit and i'm going to bounce back between like bonus offers and loyalty news because they're just kind of all tie into each other in different ways so so let's get right into that and we'll start off with another air canada aeroplan flight bonus so this time they're offering up to fifteen thousand bonus aeroplan points on flights between Canada and Australia. So you'll earn the points on an eligible round trip or, or two eligible one 
way trips on Air Canada uh, between Canada and Australia. This is valid for new bookings only um, from May 15th on. So you register and book between May 15th and 24th, and it's good for travel until April 30th, 2025. Uh, but you do have to register for it first, so make sure you register before you book. Uh, you'll earn 5,000 bonus points on economy standard fares, 10,000 points on economy flex, latitude, and comfort fares, and then the full 15,000 can be earned on business, premium economy, and premium rouge fares. So it's good that this goes out pretty much a, a year for travel, but you only have until the 24th of May to, to, book, get, to book this and, and get those points on that future travel. So I know a lot of people do plan their Australia travel pretty far out, so, so this is kind of good incentive to jump on it. It's part of a seat sale that they're having as well, where they're offering $300 off the flights as well. Um, so something to, to look into if you've been considering to go to Australia and want to rack up some extra aeroplan points on those flights. Uh, take advantage of this offer. And then speaking of Air Canada and Aeroplan, they had the news, so this is loyalty news, so like I said, I'm jumping bonus to loyalty news. So uh, they did an update of their e-upgrade uh, credit expiry policy. So they've kind of simplified it. It launches on July 1st. And so now e-upgrade credits are earned as part of your status benefits will be valid for 12 months from the date they are issued. Uh, so this this is, so it's just a rolling 12 month expiry. It makes it much easier uh, to to use those credits. It makes it more fair. You know, so I know a lot of people would kind of try and pick this right at the you know right at the right time so that the the, the credits would last like 18 months and and things like that. And I know I, I think some people would probably get mad at each other. It's like you know so, you know taking my upgrade space and all this stuff. It's it's amazing what, what people will do for those upgrades. So they've kind of made it more fair in that way. In that it's 12 months. I mean, so some people are going to be losing out on you know how long they get to use their e-upgrade credits for whereas now and others you'll 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 get a little bit more so that's good um but what the key change here with these changes is that if you have an aeroplan premium credit card i mean they say premium we call it the ultra premium so it's your infinite privilege or reserve cards um they're going to give you an additional 12 months they're doubling it you're gonna get 24 months for your e-upgrade so they're getting rid of that 50 you know the, the ability to roll over 50 e-upgrade credits you'll get a one-time um rollover during this transition period but then after that it's just going to be they're going to give you 24 months so it's you know they're incentivize incentivizing getting a pr ultra premium or premium they call it as aeroplan calls it uh, credit card, you know, the co-brand credit card uh, for status members. So it's really pushing. It's, it's like, yeah, we want you to have our credit cards. And when you do get it, we're going to double, you know, the time, your, your time of expiry for e-upgrade credit. So so th there's incentive to go get the, the reserve cards or the infinite privileges. I'll put links to those cards below again. As always, thank you for anybody, uh, everybody and everybody who does apply through credit cards through Rewards Canada. That's how we, we uh, run the business. That's how we operate and provide everything to you guys at no charge at this point. So, you know, that's what we've always done for, for 20 plus years. So thank you in advance for anybody who does choose to apply for those cards uh, through Rewards Canada. As I said, uh, they're giving you that one-time rollover the e-upgrade credits for premium card rollers this is um, through June 30th 2024 those will be rolled over in 2025 up to 50 credits uh, it'll be completed by March 31st of 2025 so that means you're gonna have them until January 15th 2026 so that's it for Air Canada news aeroplan news and we're gonna go back into bonuses rewards Canada partner coast hotels coast rewards they're offering two times coast rewards points uh, for stays this summer of two or more nights at any of their hotels plus up to 25% off This is joined together with a sale their summer sale. So uh, you book it um, As long as you have your coach rewards number on your booking you'll get the the two times points They don't have registration for these offers. So it's open to anybody who's a coach rewards member uh, And if you book this sale you get 25% off those two or more nights uh, at their 40 plus locations in Canada and US You just have to book my May 31st for stays until September 2nd now remember, Coast Rewards points uh, can be converted to Aeroplan or Alaska Airlines mileage plan miles. And the beauty with Coast Rewards double points is they double even your elite uh, earnings. So this means you're gonna be earning anywhere from two to six Coast Rewards points per dollar spent on your stays, which I mean, at one to one to Aeroplan in Alaska means you're earning two to six uh, Aeroplan points or mileage plan miles per dollar spent. Uh, you do need a minimum thousand points to convert to either of those programs, but um, hey, if you're a Coach Rewards Platinum and you're earning those six points per dollar, it's not a lot of spending to get to the 1,000 points. 
Uh, so this is really noteworthy, especially with Alaska Airlines mileage plan and their partnership with Porter, right? I mean, it's not yet there yet, but we're expecting that you will be able to redeem mileage plan miles on Porter Airlines flights as of this summer. And this is based on their press release from May 16th, where they covered the inaugural Alaska Airlines flight between Seattle and Toronto. In that release, they state Porter flights um, between you know can be booked through Alaska Airlines, um, but there, there's more booking options coming this summer. All that's left in terms of booking options for Porter is the ability to redeem miles. So I would say I'm 90% sure that that's what's going to happen. That by this summer, you'll be able to redeem your mileage plan miles for Porter Airlines flights. And so what better way you know, to earn even more mileage plan miles because we still don't know on the MBNA conversion. Uh, we're coming up on one year. They said that it'll take 12 months or up, up to a year. They'll, they'll have the conversion from MBNA rewards. Still haven't seen anything yet. Uh, you know, there's uh, inklings as well that we might see it this summer, but not nothing concrete. So you have to look for these other methods for earning mileage plan miles. And those are things like their buy miles bonuses, which are always great. And then things like coast hotels, car rentals, things like that. So definitely something to consider. Um, you can rack up your coast rewards points and coast rewards points themselves are valuable. 250 points gets you $10 off uh, stay. So in this case, you know, when you spend $125 with the chain, you're getting double points. If you're a base member, 250 points, you got $10 off, you know, you, and you've only spent $125 and that's $10 off towards your, your next stay. So, so always good to know. Um, and let's continue on. Another hotel bonus, Best Western Hotels has revealed their summer uh, bonus points system-wide, kind of global. We call it system-wide global, but it doesn't cover all their locations, but it covers the majority of the locations worldwide. And so what they're offering is 10,000 points when you stay three nights at Best Western Hotels Canada, around the world. Um, those three nights don't have to be consecutive, but it has to be three. So you have like three stays or one longer stay. So it's definitely one of the... I don't want to say weaker because the points earning is pretty decent, but it's definitely one of the harder bonuses to earn out there. I mean, you know, Hilton's offering just two times points. You know, so you just have to stay one night with them. We still haven't seen the summer offers yet from like Marriott and ISG. ISG is right now, you know, their offer ends May 31st. So we're, we should get an, you know, an idea of what their summer offer is going to be soon. But right now, um, you know, the best Western offer, it's okay. But, you know, three nights. Um, they're pushing it. They're pushing it with what people, you know, have to stay with them. And uh, the good thing is it's bonus points. You know, Best Western points never expire. They're never, even in, within activity, they never expire. Like they have the, the probably one of the best, I guess, non-expiry policies out there. And that's another thing we updated on our site today. We won't really talk about it much here because I think we will cover it uh, in a future video. And that's expiry policies, uh, expiry and inactivity policies of programs. Uh, we really just kind of updated it because now Cafe, um, with their Asia miles, uh, it's now beyond the three years. Uh, they basically had a time span, a three year time span, and they got rid of that. And it's been three years since they announced that. So now Cathay uh, Asia miles do not expire as long as you're active in the program. They don't have that three year uh, lifespan. So that's something good to know. But anyways, going back to the Best Western, the 10,000 points. Now it can be earned twice per member. And this is good for stays from May 20th to September 2nd. So you can register now, you can book now, but it won't count for stays until May 20th. Uh, right through the summer to September 2nd. And they, there are regional offers, so you can earn it twice per region. So the Canada, US, Caribbean, you can earn it twice. Australia, New Zealand, you can earn it twice. And then there's like the European, African, Middle East one, like with Turkey and that, you can also um, earn that twice. India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka has their own uh, section. And then there's Asia, like their, uh, what is it? Who was that? Five, eight, eight countries in like kind of Asia, Southeast Asia. So all those different regions. If you're doing a lot of traveling around the world this summer, you could, you know, potentially just pick Best Western and do, uh, you know, earn up to twenty thousand points per region. Uh, you do have to register each for each region separately. So below uh, in the description, I'll have uh, a link to the blog post. And within that, we have links to all the separate registration pages. The most, majority of them have landing pages where you go register. Some of them don't have the separate landing pages. And all you do is log into your Best Western account, click on special offers, promotions, and there's a little register button there. Uh, they have tabs up top that show kind of, you know, the regions and you just click the region and then you can register for the offers. And then their uh, World Hotels brand, which is owned by Best Western, they are also offering the same bonus for stays at World Hotels locations. So you can register for that one as well, and that's separate. And now with the World Hotels offer is of note because they have the nine prestige hotels in British Columbia that are part of World Hotels. So you could earn it there as well. So, so I guess in te technically speaking, if you're staying in BC a lot, you could earn 
the 20,000 points with six nights with Best Western and then another 20,000 points with six nights with World Hotel. So that's another way you could go about earning more points with these. And that would be in World Hotel World Reward, uh, their World Hotel's Rewards Program. That's a mouthful for some reason. Don't know why, but anyways, let's continue on. So that's the Best Western bonus and continue on with uh, hotel programs. This is hotel and airline related. Um, it's not a bonus, but choice privileges points can now be converted to Air France KLM Flying Blue Miles. So of course this is good news for, for Canadians because Air France KLM Flying Blue is making huge inroads here. You know, they now have the credit card, they have the great redemption rates. I mean, we cover them lots on Rewards Canada. It's one of our favorite programs. Uh, so it's always good to have these uh, additional options to earn more miles. Now, saying that, choice privileges points typically always provide best value for stays with choice hotels. Um, so there's not a huge amount of value. I mean, there's potential, there's potential. It's a five to one ratio. Like you have to redeem 5,000 privilege points for a thousand flying blue miles. And as I list in our blog post, those um, 5,000 uh, privilege points, you know, per those or five privilege points is worth about four cents. And at a minimum, we do flying blue miles at one and a half cents. See, so a five to one ratio, you're probably losing two and a half cents. But, that, but again, that's a minimum for flying blue. Um, you, if you redeem for business class with Flying Blue, if you redeem for some of those uh, even the more expensive economy class flights like to North Africa, but get it for 15,000 points with their promo rewards, you're going to be pushing you know upwards of four cents per mile or maybe even more with Flying Blue. So then there is value or equal or even potentially better value than using them for choice stays. Uh, you know, in my personal experience with Choice, I mean, I don't stay at Choice Hotels very often. It's been probably five or six years since I've stayed at one. It's been a long time. And I am sitting on 54,000 and change privilege points. Um, and that's due to because uh, my Radisson Rewards account, my Radisson Americas, I should say, uh, Rewards account, when they took over Radisson, they moved those points over or I converted, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I converted it when they, they offered it. So I'm sitting on these choice privilege points and they have an 18 month inactivity period. So there we go. We're talking about expiring exp and, and inactivity rules again. So, you know, if I don't have any choice days planned, I need to um, move some of those points or have some sort of activity in my choice account by the end of January 2025. Uh, so I can move these points over the flying blue, that'll count as activity. So I'm not gonna move them yet. I know that I have till the end of January, but that's another good op, you know, good reason that these transfer options are out there or good for consumers is that you can use them to extend you know, the activity period with your account. So I mean, I have 54,000, I could move all 54,000 and get something like 10,800 flying blue miles, or I could just move 5,000 points out of choice and then get 1,000 flying blue miles, or I can do it to Aeroplan points or any other other airline partners. Uh, I mean, for me, it'd be either Aeroplan or flying blue. Um, but by just even moving those 5,000 points out of choice, it should extend my choice privileges points for another 18 months. And then of course it helps extend the, the miles in flying blue or, or Aeroplan, I mean, Aeroplan is, you know, that's just an ongoing thing because there's no no expiry there with, with, with the amount of points earning in that program that I have. So um, so basically, I, I know I'm more than likely not gonna convert them to Aeroplan. Uh, so if I'm not gonna have a choice stay by end of January next year, I am gonna convert some or all to Flying Blue. We'll see, I haven't made my decision yet. But this is, this is you know, these conversion options from a lot of hotel programs, they don't provide the best value um, outside of Marriott, Marriott of course has uh, decent to very good value converting to a lot of airlines, depending you know on what you're redeeming those points for eventually, you know with the airlines. Um, but you know things like ISG, Hilton, um, Choice, typically you get better value keeping them for hotel stays. But again, if you're gonna have orphan points like me where I'm not gonna use them for a choice stay. Uh, then these transfer options are, are a great option. They're a great thing to do to keep accounts active, to use up points, to, to boost balances. So yeah, so that's good. So that, that's great news that choice privileges points can now be converted to Air France KLM Flying Blue Miles. And so we're gonna close out the, this episode with uh, one more bonus. Uh, this is a credit card and a loyalty one. So American Express Membership Rewards uh, here in Canada is offering a 20% bonus when transferring membership rewards points to Etihad Guest. I believe this is the first time that we've ever seen a bonus on converting membership rewards points to Etihad Guest. I could be wrong. It's the first time I recall. Let me know in the comments below if I am wrong. Um, but yeah, it's a 20% bonus, which means uh, for every one membership rewards point, you're gonna get 0.9 Etihad Guest miles because a regular conversion is one to zero, uh, 0 0.75, just like Flying Blue and Delta uh, and Cathay. Um, so you're gonna get actually nine miles. So this, 
you know, this is again, a, I think a very niche transfer bonus. Um, you know, it's it's really if you want to uh, get enough Etihad guest miles to, to top off, you know, for a, an award flight with them. I was doing some quick comparisons. I mean, there's there's so many thousands of, of redemptions you can look at. So, so it's hard to compare them all. But I did a quick redemption looking at redeeming Etihad miles say, like on a domestic flight on Air Canada. And it just worked out better where you would just, you know, it's better to convert your MR points, your membership rewards points to Aeroplan and redeem for Air Canada because it actually used up less points and it also had lower fees because Eddie had charges more surcharges. They pass along more of the surcharges. So, so it's really kind of a, a niche transfer. It's po it, it might work out where it's it's a decent redemption for a premium cabin like business or first class. Um, you'll have to run the numbers, but I think for the most part, um, you know, the, this this conversion bonus is, is one probably to to pass up for most Canadians, given that you know there's more value out of uh, Aeroplan. British Airways Executive Club, even converting one to 0.75 for Air France Flying Blue, and then also to to Marriott as well, especially when they have the 30% bonus from Marriott. So, so really, it's it's a, a niche one. If you need to top off your your Eddie Hat account, that's probably what it's best for. And this offer runs until May 31st. And that's all she wrote for this week. Remember to check the Rewards Canada site for all the latest loyalty program, credit card, and travel news coverage. Uh, check our socials because there are things that we cover on the site and our social media that we do not cover in the video and sometimes don't even cover in our weekly newsletter. But you do want to subscribe to our newsletter so you do get that summary of the, pretty much everything we cover every week. Um, the link's below to subscribe and to follow us on our different social media channels. As always, if you like today's video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you don't do so. I hope you guys have a great May long weekend. Uh, thank you for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.